Good morning, children. Uh, today, now we are going to see ninth sum. So everybody see the board, listen carefully. If you are having book, take book page number thirty-three, ninth sum. Okay, see the board. Anand does not keep his books of under double entry system. Find the profit or loss made by him for the year ending thirty-first March two thousand nineteen. So, whose book information particulars is given? Anand. Um, because here, what is given? Anand does not keep his books under double entry system. He is not prepared under the double entry system. So, from this uh, incomplete records, we want to uh, find out the profit or loss. Okay. See the particulars now. Shall we see one by one? Uh, loss is some same like that, but only one small difference alone. So listen carefully. See, cash at bank five thousand. This is the opening balance. This is the closing balance. Uh, so opening balances of the assets and liabilities. Closing balances of assets and liabilities. Opening balance cash at bank five uh, thousand. As usual, debit in the sense uh, cash at bank. Which side it will show? We will show that asset side. It that is correct. Okay. But closing balance. See the question. In the bracket, they give a credit. So we want to reverse uh, automatically. We want if the in the question paper, if they give the credit, uh, cash at bank balance, if they are mentioned credit, that it denotes we want to show it as a, we want to consider as a bank overdraft. So this sixty thousand we want to show it in the liability side. This only one difference alone from the loss sum in this sum. Okay. So this is the one difference alone. Next one, cash in hand, three thousand, four thousand five hundred. Stock of goods, thirty-five thousand, forty-five thousand. Sundry data, one lakh ninety thousand. Plant and machinery, eighty thousand, eighty thousand. Land and building, one lakh forty thousand, one lakh forty thousand. Sundry credit, one lakh seventy thousand, one lakh thirty thousand. Anand had withdrawn. Anand had withdrawn how much amount sixty thousand lump sum amount given. So we need not what is that? I do any calculation here. If any here any word per month like that given, we want to do the calculation. Otherwise, we want to take it as a whole amount. Okay. So sixty thousand for his personal use. He had introduced how much Raju introduced additional capital seventeen thousand as a capital for. The expansion of his business. He want to expand his business, so that's why he brings some additional amount. That amount is called a additional capital. So uh, next we want to hear one more adjustment also here in this sum given. Create a provision of five percentage on debtors. Normally, if we create any provision at the end of the year alone, we want to make this uh, provision. So in the opening uh, balance, opening capital, we did not. What is it? Keep any provision. If you are going to find out the closing capital in that time, usually normally, if we keep any provision at the end of the closing period alone, we uh, what is it? Calculate the. Uh, we provide certain provisions. Okay. So same like that here also we want to follow. So data is how much value ninety thousand. In this ninety thousand five percentage we want to keep it as a provision. And then plant and machinery is to be depreciated ten percentage. Same like that plant and machinery. If any adjustment made, we want to make uh, only at the closing time balance sheet, closing time statement of affairs. Or we want to do that all the adjustment. So this more, this one more difference also compared to the last sum. Okay, so when when we are uh, approach the sum, you want to see the cash at bank. Okay, either they are given the debit balance or credit balance. Debit balance in the sense normally asset says we will show that. Uh, but uh, credit side in the sense we want to consider as a bank overdraft that uh, yeah, cash at bank we want to show it in the liability side and then if any provision or depreciation given in that problem that also we want to show that all the adjustment are only at the uh, closing time alone okay i hope you got it this concept uh, sum now shall we see the sum everybody listen carefully so first we want to calculate the opening capital okay from this sum 
and we want to find out the first opening capital then we want to find out the closing capital so first you write calculation of opening capital whose book we are going to prepare in the books of raju first we want to write like that in the books of raju and what is the heading statement of affairs for the year ended 31 3 2018 okay now see the problem see one by one we want to write cash at bank which side it will come asset side yes we want to write here asset side cash at bank cash at bank how much is given see the sum and tell me 5000 very good 5000 we want to write in the asset side see see the problem next one cash in hand how much is given 3000 so this 3000 we want to take cash in hand 3000 so we want to insert here then next one stock of goods normally stocks we will show it in the asset side so stock of goods how much 35000 so we want to write here stock of goods How much is thirty-five thousand? Next one. Sundry data. Sundry data is how much is given? One lakh. So here we did not. What is that? Uh, create any provision. Okay. Only at the end of the accounting financial period alone, we want to provide that provision. Okay. Here now directly we want to apply. Okay. Sundry data is in the initial stage. How much? One lakh. So you write here sundry debtors. One lakh. Next, see here plant and machinery and then land and building. Both the one comes in asset side. Okay. So plant and machinery also we did not uh, what is that provide any depreciation at the end the closing financial period we will what is that. Provide the depreciation. Okay, now directly you apply this plant and machinery eighty thousand. So right here, plant and machinery. Plant and machinery eighty thousand. Next, land and building. One lakh forty thousand. So land and building one lakh forty thousand. Next year. Okay. Land and building one lakh forty thousand. Carry. Okay. Now shall we see the liability side? See the sum. Only one item alone. What is that liability? Sundry creditors. How much is given? One lakh seventy thousand. Okay. Now you take and write that sundry. See the board. One lakh seventy thousand. Okay. So I hope all the particulars we carried here. Just now we want to add the total. So in the working column, uh, just you add all the assets value and then liabilities value. If you subtract from the uh, all the liabilities from the assets, we get the capital value. Okay. Now you add this all the assets. Okay. Zero 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 five plus five. Ten, ten plus three, thirteen. Here you write three, and then remaining one. Three plus one, four. Uh, eight plus four, twelve. Twelve plus four, sixteen. Six. Uh, remaining one. Uh, one plus one, two plus one, three. Three lakh sixty-three thousand is the asset value, and then liability only one item. That value or liability value one lakh seventy thousand. So if we subtract this two, we get the capital value. So three. Uh, sixteen a uh, six. Uh, it's not possible to uh, subtract this uh, uh, seven. So we want to borrow from uh, here. 
so 16 uh, if we subtract uh, 16 uh, uh, 7 we get 9 and then uh, here so ca capital value 1 lakh 93000 this is called what is that this is called a opening capital this is the balancing figure okay 1 lakh 93000 okay opening capital is over next we want to uh, find out the closing capital okay Ca okay see the question cash at bank here what is given in the question credit balance so we want to consider as a what bank od okay because we are not have the sufficient cash balance okay so uh, we want to write uh, instead of cash at bank we want to write bank overdraft how much 60000 liability side so write bank overdraft sixty thousand and the next day as usual just we want to see and write cash in hand stock of goods sunday debtors okay first you take cash in hand four thousand five hundred right here cash in hand four thousand five hundred next stock of goods how much forty five thousand Okay, right. Stock of goods. See here, everybody listen carefully. 45,000. And the next one, uh, sundry debtors. See the question here. What we want to do? We want to make the provision. So, inner column also. Uh, what is that? We want to do all the adjustment. Sundry debtors. How much Sundry debtors value? See the sum 90,000. In this 90,000, we want to create 5 percentage provision. Okay. So, see here. Now, in the bracket, 90,000 into 5 percentage. 5 divided by 100. You cross this to 0 to 0 and then 900 into 5. So, we get what is that? 4,000. 500. So from 90,000 we want to subtract 4,500. This 4,500 we created the provision. So the remaining amount we want to write in the outer column. So 85,500. Um, this is data value. Actually 90,000 Sunday data's value. But we want to create this provision 5 percentage. So from this 90,000 uh, into 5 percentage in the sense well, how we want to write 5 divided by 100. This 2 0 and then this 2 0 if we cross here remaining 900 into 5 4,500. In this year we want to create this 4,500 for the provision. Okay because in the sum they are given 5 percentage we want to create the provision so that we are created. So now if, uh, how much total data's value? 90,000 in this 4,500 we created so the remaining amount around here we want to write I hope you got it this next one see plant and machinery plant and machinery how much 80,000 see the question plant and machinery we want to provide the depreciation 10 percentage also this adjustment also we want to made in this uh, asset side so plant and machinery Eighty thousand. How many percentage? Ten percentage. So ten divided by hundred. Zero 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 zero. Eight thousand. So we want to subtract this. Okay. Eighty thousand minus eight thousand depreciation. Ten percentage. So remaining amount seventy. That remaining amount alone here we want to write. Okay. And the next one. Uh, sundry craters which said it will come uh, sorry land and building is that see land and building how much one lakh forty thousand you want to write here land and building one lakh forty thousand and then last one, sundry creditors. Sundry creditors, how much? One lakh thirty thousand. 
here you want to write sundry creditors One lakh thirty thousand. So liability side total one lakh ninety thousand. Now you comes in uh, working column. So write workings. Now you add all the assets. We get on total. Okay, zero, zero, five plus five ten zero. Remaining one four plus one five. Five plus five ten fifteen plus two seventeen seven. Uh, remaining one. And then uh, four plus one five, five plus eight thirteen, thirteen plus seven twenty, uh, twenty plus four twenty four four. Remaining two, two plus one three. So three lakh uh, assets total value three lakh forty seven thousand. And then liabilities value, uh, how much liabilities value one lakh ninety thousand. So if we subtract from this, we get capital value. Okay, we get how much? One lakh fifty-seven thousand. So now we want to add uh, tally this both. Uh, what is that? Asset side and the liability side. Here also the difference we call it as what? Capital. So that is this capital is called what? Closing capital. One lakh fifty thousand. Both the side we want to tally this. Three lakh forty. Seven thousand. Okay. Now we what is that? Um, calculated opening capital and then closing capital. After we uh, what is that? Calculated this. Now we are going to ascertain the statement of profit or loss. Okay. Whose account? Raju's. Okay. So uh, already you know the format. Just we are going to apply that format. What is the first one here? Come. Closing capital during the year. Closing capital during the year. How much closing capital during the year? One lakh fifty-seven thousand. This one lakh fifty-seven thousand here we want to write. Okay. Next from this closing capital, what we want to do? We want to add the drawings. So add. Drawings during the year. Drawings during the year. Okay. See the question drawings. How much? Sixty thousand. That we want to add. So sixty thousand. So we get if we added this to um two lakh seventeen thousand. Okay. And then we want to uh, subtract additional capital during the year. Additional capital during the year. How much additional capital? Seventeen thousand. This seventeen thousand we want to subtract here. So if we subtracted this, we get. Ah, uh, two lakhs. This two lakh. That this amount is called adjusted closing capital. Next, what we want to do? Less opening capital. Very good. Less opening capital. Already we found this opening capital. Just we want to see and write that. That uh, capital value. See the first statement. Opening capital. How much? One lakh ninety three thousand. Everybody, you know the rule. Just we are going to compare the adjusted closing capital and opening capital. Adjusted closing capital value two lakh. Opening capital value one lakh ninety three thousand. If we compare this two, uh, we are having the positive figure. Okay, because this is the more than the opening capital. So we want to write profit made during the year. So profit for the year and that. How much the difference? Seven thousand. 
this 7000 is we want to consider as a profit i hope you understand this song uh, so everybody you one time you try without seeing uh, seeing your note and then just one time you try everybody i hope you understand this uh, song uh, thank you children